Uh, but anyway, I... so yeah, he had his hand against the wall, and he's going down the what kind of stairs? Uh, Kiona, Kiona here is not mm. quickly, right? In yeah. describing the stair, it's the stairway. Yes. So the stairway is steep, exactly. but steep in the downward direction, not yep. in the upward direction. Perfect. And it's also narrow. Yep, it's narrow and steep, which is a weird thing if you think about it, because we got Khan, who's like 12 or something, and he's like, this is a narrow staircase. And then we had this older like magician guy go down here just fine. Anyway, do you know what Odoru means? Yeah, he could have turned himself into a like a black bird or something and fly down. He's True. a magician. Gotta make it even narrower um, then. <laughs> Odoru is to run. Good guess. That's Hashi. Oh, oh, Odoru is, is to, to dance. dance. Odoru. Odoru. <laughs> Hi. Um, how do you say to dance in Japanese? This. Odoru. Hi, hi. Such a good word. That's a good word. Do you remember how this guy's read? Basho. A place. Basho place. But not a tokoro kind of a place. Oh, it's, so. a, Physical it's a physical place. Basho kind Basho. of a place. <laughs> um, let's I, see. I think I want a knife form here. Negative form of odoru. Oh, no. I want a stem form, hi, actually. So, odoru. Mass form. Oh, odori. Yep, odori. Perfect. So odoru shows up in this word. Can you read it for me? Odori ba. Hi. Hearing this, you might think, "Oh, it's a place where you dance." That is not what this means. Odori ba is this <laughs> specific kind of location on a staircase. So it's like that little, like weird little break area that's kind of flat. So if you had a dance on a staircase. It's the one place that would probably be safe to do so, is an odoriba. Can I tell can I tell you a completely random story just for the heck of it? Oh. <laughs> so I, one day I was walking up this staircase just like this at my school when I was like in fifth grade. And you know how it had that turn? It mm -hmm. turns on the right. So if you go up, you had to make a turn on the right. So when you go up, you only see the wall in front of you. But as soon as you make a right turn, then you see the other staircase, right? Yeah. Well, as soon as I go up and I make a right turn, an entire kneecap lands straight into my face. Like a that kneecap? weak point right beneath my nose. A kneecap. Somebody, instead of walking down the stair like a normal human being, decided to jump down from like the six staircase or something he jumped all the way from up on like a high position he jumped all the way down and he just did it right when i make a turn and his entire knees land into my face and it wow. knocked me out so i will always remember this area as being a very bad place but because you oh can't my. see on the way up you you can't see that you can't it's hidden Means you gotta just walk <laughs> over on this side then. <laughs> Next time, yeah, you you edge the other direction and you make sure nobody jump down. Wow, that's that's horrifying. <laughs> okay, let's. They only had that in Asia. I yeah? I haven't seen it in in U.S. staircase, or at I least think... I haven't seen yet. I know there should be. I think yeah, my there should be plenty had, of it. Had an odoriba. <laughs> I feel like though <laughs> it. it... I feel like um it it was the it wasn't like a full wall over here, so I feel like it was very easy to look over and see people. I feel I feel like the the railing was shorter, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure it had one. Moni, can I? Yeah? I'm so sorry. Can I take this phone call real quick? Oh yeah, talks. Can I? Yeah. 